This is Carolyn Polachek. I'm Renee Urbanovich doing Voice Teacher Reacts. This is live on KEXP in London. I don't know who this person is. Someone suggested for me to listen and react to Carolyn Polachek. So here we go. Look at that beautiful stage. Someone changed the clock and left the window open when I must have drifted off. And it's just your kind of trick to leave me empty-handed Leave me with the riddle unsolved Okay, so look at that beautiful piano playing. Look at that beautiful reflection of Carolyn's face in the black of the of the piano. So there's uh, some elegance and some beauty. She's got some funky clothes on and she's not wearing a lot of makeup. So she's being authentic. What I'm hearing from her voice in the very, very beginning is that really soft, like insider view of an artist. Like you can hear inside their throat. And then she's doing a little puff of air the beginning of what we used to call a yodel, but she stylized it absolutely perfectly. So it just sounds expressive and emotive. And the lyrics are really beautiful. They are not cliches. I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I can make this piece. And you're almost like the god played by the magician But this time you're not coming back And you're slipping through my fists Blurry at the edges Leaving only legend you go as a dream Oh my goodness, is that beautiful? Very pretty. Okay, so the lyrics alone are engaging me because they're beautiful. There's alliteration, there's images. And I'm taken by this whole idea of, I think that might be the top of the piano. I don't know, what is that reflection? <laughs> it's, it's, take, it's really touching me. And uh, the concentration that she has, she's not, this is a 26 minute recording that I found. Um, this is the beginning of a full concert, it looks like. So she's not starting off with a bang. And so some of these performers are spectacles. They have a big show. They're going to sing and they're going to dance and they've got backup singers. They've got lights. And this is really just very elegant and beautiful. And we're keying into just those feelings of her voice and those beautiful lyrics that are so poetic. Then she just lifts up into a very, very soft head tone Um and I'm not sure she has enough air, but that, whether that's what she planned or not, it really doesn't matter because it works for us because we feel intimate because she's not performing. She's not perfect. She's not uh, singing um, like a show. She's singing for herself and we happen to be there. There's something about that. So this is a just one of those styles that's um, very indie, but she's got an elegance to hers. It's not even, there's not even a country sensibility to it. Um, Carolyn Polacek. Uh, I don't know who told me to find her, but I'm, I'm liking what I'm hearing. It's a little 70s, isn't it? Late 60s, uh, a little bit Joni Mitchell-ish with the head tone and the and the very captivating lyrics. So that's my reaction so far. I'm reacting to the voice, to the images, to the poesis, um, and the lyricalness of her voice. Okay, here we go. Go as a tree. Go as a tree. Go as a tree. Go as a tree. No idea. I guess it's better if I don't know what she's saying um, because she's taking me with her. And then I start to analyze, like, what did she say? D did she say go as a tree? Are we going to a party, a costume party? Or is it that we all need to be like a tree and just do our function in the world? 
that's where my mind goes. Um, as a songwriter, as a poet, as a writer, I want to know what the composer was trying to say. And yet she's selling it no matter if I understand it or not. Because how many times have you thought a lyric was something else and you, <laughs> you sang it wrong for 20 years and then you realize, oh, that's the wrong lyric. That's okay, right? Um, and that's why I do a voice teacher reacts with absolutely no research because we want to know how it's landing. And so far this is landing in a very moving and internal kind of sophisticated way. Um, it's an unconscious knowing about this relationship that she's talking about. Um, and I'm, I'm not quite even sure what's happening, but I'm feeling it. Let's see if I can figure it out, or maybe I don't need to. I don't know if I can do this I don't know if I can make this peace And it hit me like a brick A joke without a punchline A script that nobody read If you saw me lying here Through my bedroom ceiling would have me pick up my head and go as a tree go as a tree go as a tree go as a tree, as a tree. I think she's saying go as a stream, you would have me pick up my head and go as a stream, maybe as a dream. I don't know that it matters, but obviously this artist is facing something that she doesn't know if she has the capacity for it. She needs to reconcile something in her life, maybe in her relationship, something's going on. And a lot of us are not songwriters. And so if she can pick up on something that people um, go through like on a daily basis. It's not always easy. Let's not pretend that it is. And in order to sit down and make sense of our lives, we write and we sing and maybe we paint or we dance, but we're trying to make sense of things that don't feel like they make sense. And when life presents us, um, obstacles and things we have to get through, um, we need people like Carolyn and writers to help us face things we don't want to face and that we don't want to face alone. And just to know that somebody else faces shit, <laughs> sorry, just to know that somebody else is facing things that they don't want to face, that they didn't plan, that they didn't order, that they had no idea was coming down the pike. You sit there sometimes like at the piano with that weird feeling and deep poetic words that come to you and you can't make sense of it. So I'm really, I'm really loving this. Um, the whole thing, it's, it's, it's retro for me, a little bit retro with the long straight hair and the, the kind of seventies garb and the late sixties tone quality. So it's touching me maybe in a different way than it would touch somebody in their thirties. I'm going to be 60. So, um, it's really, really lovely. I'm so glad you guys told me to listen to her and uh, I'm going to have to look up the lyrics when I'm done with this. So let's listen to a couple more minutes and um, see what happens. Go as a dream. Let's do that. that's it. Well, she's got 26 more minutes to go, but we'll have to go back to those. So in our creativist worldview, we have a very sensitive voice with a lot of breath and breath is spirit. Remember the word breath is Ruah and it means spirit. So this is a very, very deep song that requires a lot of breath and it's about sitting still and facing something that we don't have peace with. And um, if it's go as a dream, 
that's even more poetic, isn't it? So I'm going to look up the words, but uh, she's got something beautiful going. Great voice. And, you know, there's a lot of people singing in this way lately where it's very coffee shoppy, right? It's very stream of consciousness, um, but it definitely works with her. Um, she's putting us in this state uh, like right before waking or right before falling asleep um, where you're, you're trying to grapple with what it means to be alive and what meaning is and how you're going to do your next day. So um, I would love to know what the author, what the composer meant, but that's what I got as a listener and as a fellow creativist. So uh, she is bringing people together with her art and she's bringing um, me closer to my internal realm and hopefully she's bringing me and my YouTube friends closer together so that we can have another shared experience and that we can explore creativity through my favorite instrument, the voice together. Thank you for being here. Please like subscribe, share and comment. Bye-bye. See you next time. Thank you.